Hey guys, it's Tech Steve with another video for you. First of all, I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel and I'm looking to put out some really good content. So if you uh, want to go ahead and subscribe now, go ahead and do that. Today we're going to talk about the Bose SoundLink. I have actually my friends at AT&T who actually sent me these to just test drive and see what I thought about them. So I thought I'd share it with you. Without further ado, let's do an unboxing and show you how to connect them to your device. Let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, again, this is the sound link. They're available in actually uh, five different colors, which will be blue, white, red, teal, and black. Uh, one great thing about these also, you can actually connect them to two devices. Uh, I know I have some other Bluetooth devices and you actually have to un Bluetooth one of them just to connect the other one and do it back again. So uh, with this unboxing, uh, this is what you get in the instruction books inside multiple languages congratulations so they give you a free trial on a uh, looks like a uh, music website your product registration and they give you a safety guide uh, with terms and conditions of using multiple languages as well all right let's go ahead and open this up It looks like you get a home charger. And this is a pretty heavy duty cable. Looks like the micro USB end. And then you should have a power supply right here in the box. And it's got the nice Bose logo on it. And retractable power supply, which is always nice for easy uh, storage when you're traveling. So you're gonna plug this into the back of it and plug that into the wall this into the speaker when you're traveling or just everyday charge so I have the black version with me today let's take a look at it Now up on the top here, you have your power button. A lot of times the power button, you wanna press and hold it down to get it started. You have the Bluetooth connectivity um, button. This is where you use to pair it. And auxiliary, which is nice because you have a power jack here and an auxiliary input here. So if you wanna plug in a, like a stereo or something like that, you can do it right there. You have your uh, pause button and your play button. And then if you hold these down, you're gonna get the tracks and when you just tap it, you're gonna get the volume. So let's go ahead and pair it to uh, the device and see what you get. So today we're going to be using an AT&T Nokia Lumia. This is one of the basic units, but I thought I'd pair it up with something different today versus Android and iPhone. So let's go ahead and get that started. It says different levels of colors according to which power level it's at. So if it's at green, it's gonna be at the highest charge possible. If it's amber like now, it has a medium charge on it. And if it's blinking red, then it has a low charge on it. To check this anytime, you wanna press and hold it. So let me unplug it here and I'll show you how to do that. Does it just tap it one time? Select English, press and hold the play pause button. And there you go. So let's go ahead and set it up. First, you need to set this up to pair up to your device. So you just tap it one time. English. To select English, press and hold the play pause button. Press and hold the play pause button. Ready to pair. Now it's ready to pair. So I'm gonna take the Windows phone and go over to your settings. Go select down. the Bose speaker from your mobile device's Bluetooth list. Go to Bluetooth to turn it on. and it should start scanning auto automatically, searching. You found the bowls right there, and just press and hold that. 
connected to a Windows Phone. All right, so let's show you how to set it up to the second device. Press and hold the Bluetooth button. Ready to pair another device. There you go. Now from the iTouch, hit the Bluetooth. Turn it on. Bose sound link. Connected to iPod Touch and Windows Home. So now you have two devices connected. Now we showed you controls and how to hook it up. Let's now look at the build quality. Uh, it looks like a really rigid, hard plastic. So it looks like if you dropped it, it would withstand a lot of uh, drops. And they put a rubber uh, piece around the edges here, and that'll keep it also, you know, pretty, uh, pretty resistant to uh, falls. On the top, it looks like it's sealed off, so I don't think it'll have a problem getting wet or anything like that. And then it looks like a ported enclosure, so you have your, your main speaker here that has a really good sound quality, actually. And then it's like a port here that allows, you know, to get this kind of a round sound that, uh, that Bose usually is really popular for in their later speakers. Uh, overall, I look, at, look at this as a pretty uh, solid build. Wow, really nice. These speakers have so much bass response for portable speakers, just really clean. Bose, you really did it right on this one. So I just want to say thank you again, uh, AT&T. Please actually go to their link below and uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. In the meantime, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Fifty-two years in the business, how could you go wrong?